Hey YouTubers, this is me, Alex Mesa, reporting to you from Miami, Florida. Today is a special occasion where I'm going to prepare a special meal for special people because I love them dearly in my heart. The, the plate we're going to focus on today is a paella. Throughout Spain, there are various types of paellas and uh, with all the different varieties and there's typically a certain method to make it so I just improvise with uh, mine is not a Valencia because it has lobster in it but it's a seafood paella made for you directly from Miami so I'd like to start with the basic ingredients and how I get going with this dish we start with a sofrito the sofrito will be the base that will bring all the flavors together and it usually starts with a little bit of parsley and cilantro lime garlic, olive oil, and we put that in a blender and we make our base. And then after we make our base, we're gonna start by heating our pan and we're gonna obviously these peppers, tomatoes, onions, corn, all get chopped in together with the chorizo. The chorizo is a Spanish sausage, like it's high in salt, high in fat, and just adds that flavor when we start cooking our dish. And once we get the sofrito ready, we have our base with the chorizo we chopped out, we're gonna throw it all together. We're gonna bring that to a boil, and then we're gonna fold in slowly crab for flavor, the shrimp, lobster, and calamari, and we'll let it cook for about 45 minutes. So, in our next video, I'm gonna show you what it looks like when the sofrito's ready, the peppers are diced up, and we're ready to get cooking. Thanks, YouTube, for watching my video. Go for it. Hey YouTubers, it's Alex again. Thank you for joining us. Anyways, we already chopped up all our ingredients and it seems like we're ready to get this party going. So I'm preheating the stove top over here as you can see. This is a finished product of the sofrito. Everything blended together. Delicious. Okay, the other ingredients I didn't show in the prior video were basic salt, pepper, garlic, but all of that was already added to the shrimp, as you can see here. Our lobster, our fish, and all the peppers, ingredients have also been put here collectively. And you can see all these colors here, all these beautiful colors going. We have our chorizo, which is first to make an appearance in the pan, along with the corn. We have our Spanish olive oil, calamari, and we're ready to get this party started. So our next video, we're gonna show you the finished product. So stay, stu stay tuned YouTubers and thank you for watching. Well, YouTube family, after a good hour and a half, a total combined of three hours preparing everything, we finally have our final product that we'd love to show you. Again, I'm not a professional chef. I just cook for my family and my loved ones. Feel free uh, to leave any comments below, but I want to show you the product. I love you all and thank you for watching this video. Check out what we got for you. You gotta try it so you know what it feels like out there. All the flavors, the fish, the shellfish, the lobster, all that, all the flavors combined together with all the spices and natural sofrito, you're sure to enjoy. Thank you everybody.